Morning guys. So uh, right now I'm at Pura Vida Dive Resort. I'm gonna do a quick one. Uh, basically what's going on is three days ago we got the jab. It was the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and it's the only way we can I mean, I know some of you don't want to do it. You're sitting in the States, you're not really leaving your house, so what's the point, I guess? But here in the Philippines, they're so locked down, I can't travel, I can't film or dive other islands. And just now in Cebu and Mindanao, they announced you can't even go to the mall, restaurants, uh, any anywhere in public without your vaccination card. So we had to get it done because me and Finn and Judea, we got plans to go to Takao, Romblon, um, Anilao, Porto Galera. We're going to do a big Filipino trip. In fact, tomorrow we'll go to Besai. Um, so that's a lot of borders to cross. So we had to get the vaccine. And then next year we got a big, we got big plans for Indonesia. So anyways, went and got the Johnson & Johnson. And the next day, all of us were just, it, it's rough. It's been rough. So basically, they said the younger you are, the stronger your immune system is, and the more side effects you have because it's fighting it or whatever. Well, my grandparents back in the States, 80-something years old, no side effects. Me, 35-year-old, fail, my wife, all of us, really bad side effects the first day especially. Uh, I had like my whole body hurt, pain everywhere. All my joints felt like I had arthritis or gout or something. Just all my joints hurt, bad headaches and stuff like that. It was pretty rough. Finn was the same, exact same stuff. The next day we were better, but still like we just laid in bed working. You know, I think Finn did the same thing at his house. And then the next day we got out, we met at the pool just to try to get out of the house and it, we were better, pretty much better. No, like zero energy. It's like coming off a bad flu. Uh, my backbone, my shoulders still hurt and stuff, but yeah. And then today we're going to go get some night trucks, I'm waiting for Finn. Just going to jump in the water here. Look at this. Nice, easy dive right here just to test out our energy and see if we're okay because tomorrow well tomorrow for us next week for you guys we're gonna drive down to Basai and do some exploration dives there's there's like 40 something hectares of marine reserve and no dive shops no people no it's like out in the middle of nowhere nobody's explored this so we want to go see if there's different critters there so it should be awesome right now I'm a little early waiting on Finn and then me and him, maybe a guide or somebody will join us. Uh, we're just going to go do this little uh, quick dive here at the house reef of Pura Vida. I'm not really expecting to find any new species of nudibranch here. But you never know. There's seasons. You know, it's seasonal. Who knows? You see something new every time. Right now, I'm just cleaning my camera. I got to put silicone on my o-ring. And when Phil gets here, I guess we'll go. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. I hope I have energy. Yeah, see you underwater. Hmm? Critter Hunter. So, I know what you're thinking. What is that? And that's exactly what we were thinking when we saw this guy. He was slithering around on the ground next to an old abandoned rope. And it's a definite new species for Project Nudibranch. A species we've never filmed or even seen or even knew existed before. Maybe this isn't the greatest footage, but you gotta remember, he's very, very tiny. Very hard to film. I don't know if Finn filmed it really great, but this is some of the best footage I got of it. So even though it's not great, I'm glad we got to find it. In the next clip, I'm filming in real time. I'm not doing slow motion because this clip is hilarious. And this is a fang blenny, but well, keep watching.
This is some of the weirdest behavior ever. They're living in these bottles that are being used as artificial reef. And look at this guy. Whoop. Goes right down into the bottle. And I thought he was alone, but why is he moving like that? He's wiggling around really fast. So thankfully, I'm in real time, not slow motion, and I can zoom in and look. And yeah, he's acting really weird. And then, all of a sudden it comes out. And there's another dude in there. <laughs> I think he was in there slapping somebody. It's hilarious. And this guy is slightly different color. That other one had sort of a bluish tail. So maybe that was the male or this is the female. Maybe they were mating in there. I don't know. They were either mating or that one just wanted to give that other one a slap. <laughs> either way, that was pretty hilarious. I never knew Fang Blinnings acted like this. Oh, Mele goes back down. <laughs> he went back down. The next little critter is this tiny little shrimp that was sitting on the side of an enemy. And this dive site here in front of Pura Vida has a lot of anemones. All of them different sizes and shapes and different colors. And this one had a lot of weird little shrimp on top. Yeah, including this guy. He's not a shrimp, he's a crab. But you can see this anemone is a little bit different. I think these are called carpet anemones. And of course that's a porcelain crab. And next to that was this shrimp. And I'm not sure what these are called. I see them everywhere. Maybe they're glass shrimp. But either way, they're everywhere. So this brown piece of grass was floating near me. And I thought Fan had kicked it up. Or maybe the current. But then I look closely and it's a robust ghost pipe fish. I see robust ghost pipe fish and ornate ghost pipe fish quite often. Anywhere in the Philippines. But this guy was really, really good at mimicking a dead brown piece of seagrass. If you look closely, you can see his eye right there, and he's pointing straight down. He's tucked in his fin so he doesn't get bit off, I guess. And he's got that big old flat tail that looks just like grass. I had to film this. Of course, there's lionfish everywhere on every dive site, and I don't normally film them. But this guy was a little tiny baby, probably the size of a quarter, and he had no color or pigmentations yet. He had his patterns already, but the rest of it was completely transparent. And he was really pretty photogenic. I love this little dude. I filmed him for quite a while. Of course, I didn't know I was going to film other species all this time, so I probably gave him too much time. You know, I wanted footage. I didn't know if I was going to be filming and finding other stuff or if this was it so I got quite a bit of footage of him but he's really cool looking so you know turned out okay you can kind of see what they look like and then when they get older you guys know what they look like they got orange or whatever colors and then I ran into this really cool looking sea hare and these are pretty cool they're all Obviously mollusks and related to nudibranch and sea slugs and flatworms You know and this guy will make it into our book as well It is probably a new species although we do film a lot of different sea hares But I'm not sure if we have this exact one or not And then I did run into another flatworm and this guy was pretty cool Just look at his face right there. You can see how flat this little dude really is it's a really awesome color too. I'm not even sure that we have this species in our book yet, but if not, then it's definitely a welcome addition. These guys are awesome how they move and I always love filming them, even if we have seen them before. And then I found the Usagi leaf sheep and to be fair Finn actually found it and called me over but this is a leaf sheep that we've been looking for for quite a while see there's the other species right there but this is the usagi leaf sheep that is supposed to be more rare and we haven't seen it in months and all of a sudden we see it quite often it's just showed up lately it's weird it's like there's a usagi season cute little guy though you okay so, Justin just come out from the water. 
How was the dive? It was awesome. We were only going to do a relaxing 60 minute dive because just to see how we feel, but we both got so much. Three, three new species plus the usagi that we've been searching for. Uh, just didn't want to stop. It was, but how was the feeling? Like Yeah, I feel great. It turned into 85 minutes. 80, 88 minutes. Yeah, I keep on asking the, the peeps that, hey, where are they? Can you like help me nah, find their we, bubbles? We, planned, we said, let's just go 60 minutes tops. Uh, we're not feeling great, but got in the water and it was, it was perfect. So yeah. uh, I'll give you my camera and I'm just gonna sit here and wait for Finn. But he's right here at three meters. Uh, I found the Usagi first, so I was like, okay, you stay and get the get the Footage. photos because he's got the the camera for photos today. Like the macro? Yeah, macro, but not video, just photos. So I got the video. So yeah, really great, great dive. So my dive turned into an 88 minute dive, and Finn, I left him at the Usagi, like I said, because we really wanted that one. How long was your dive? 102 minutes. We said we're gonna do easy dive. <laughs> first post vaccination, maybe 60 minutes maximum. Yeah, we didn't feel 100%, and I was like, uh, maybe 60 minutes. And if we don't, if we want to stop early, just let us know, let each other know. But I've never felt better. Maybe it's the night trunks. Maybe it's just getting out in the sea and exercising, low impact exercise. Exactly. But I feel awesome. I feel so good. Plus all the great footage I just got was makes it even better. Just they was doing his safety stuff and I thought I was like din, 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 come, come, but, come. Yeah, but while you were telling me to come over there, I was like, no, you come over here because I was oh, filming another here. new <laughs> a new species that you guys probably just saw, but I haven't seen it. I gotta check it out again. I'll, I'll show you my camera. It's not pretty, but it's a new species for sure. So we got what two new species or this that? No, I got three. And then I saw another one. When I was filming Lusagi next to him, this white one flew up. It started flying and it let, it was going in front of my face. I was like, get out of here. I could have filmed that. But then when Finn was filming, he looked over and it landed on his camera. It was on so the he was filming the Ludi, the leaf sheep. And then there was a, another Ludi on top of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> on my legs. Yeah, so funny. Shout so out good. to uh, Pura Vida or Sea Explorers at Pura Vida. Uh, that was an amazing dive and I don't know maybe t maybe it might be the season too for critters because right. it had all those little mossy grassy I don't know what that stuff is algae called all over algae yeah now. and every time we looked at it there was loonies or sea hares or whatever so awesome dive man and I think we're ready for Poseidon tomorrow I hope it's not good <laughs> see you guys on the next one